Welcome to Chemistry Lover. It is after a long time, and uh, let me tell you that my uh, my health is not good. I have cold and cough, so uh, my uh, voice uh, would be a little bit disturbed. So just keep that apart. So now let me just uh, discuss this uh, question quickly with you. So this is the question, and it is uh, I think it is previous year NET exam question, or maybe some other year, but it is from one of the NET exam paper. So basically, it is a bromination reaction electrophilic bromination reaction and uh, this particular uh, reagent if you see so it is actually a bromine source br2 source so it is actually n bu4 uh, n plus right so n is tetra coordinated and br minus and with it you have br2 so basically it is br3 minus or from that you are going to get this br2 so this br2 is the active reagent and it will do the electrophilic bromination reaction now um, so so uh, so there are four uh, products given one two three four and you have to predict which is the correct answer now this is a quite easy question and you can easily eliminate option one and two because whenever electrophilic bromination occurs you know that goes through this cyclic bromonium ion and when the next bromine br minus attacks so this br and another br they are going to be anti to one another and in these two products you can see this bromine and this bromine they are seen and here also they are seen so these two cannot be the correct product because this bond rotation is not possible as it is a cyclic compound so you can easily eliminate option one and two now you are left out with option three and four and you have to predict which will be the correct answer <clears throat> and let me tell you here that where people will do the mistake so people will do the mistake they will put uh, uh, option 4 as correct answer because many of you I have seen that they uh, they easily pick option 4 as correct answer because you can see this group this methyl group is above the plane and here it is given this BR is below the plane so they will think that due to a steady hindrance uh, this here uh, the bromine which will enter that will be uh, at the at the opposite side of this methyl so here you will do the mistake so option 4 will not be the correct answer and how you will get a, get that for that you have to work out the mechanism so for that first you have to draw this particular compound in its proper half chair conformation so half chair conformation if you just draw so it will look like this okay now i am watching this from here so it uh, this methyl group will be above the plane so i put this methyl group just above the plane so here you will have hydrogen here you will have methyl so this is the case now you can easily say that uh, if the bromine will come it will come from this side right it will come from this side so this is your br2 from this side this bromine cannot come because this methyl is there so approach of this bromine from the top side is blocked right so it will come come from the bottom side now this double bond will attack over this bromine so from that you will get this uh, bromonium ion intermediate right and now this okay so this is the half chair conformation and here you have this methyl group intact here you have this hydrogen now the <coughs> sorry now the opening of this bromonium ion is very important so either your br minus it can attack from this side or the your bromine minus it can attack from this side and according to that you can get two products so let's say if if this br minus it attacks from this side so then what product you will get so you will get a product something like this so here you have this bromine here you have another bromine and here you have methyl right but if this bromine attacks from this side then you will get a product like this okay so now here you have one bromine so this bromine and the bromine which is entering it will be here and you have methyl here now if you flip this one so this is in the twist boat conformation and if you flip this one you will get uh, so what you are going to get so here you are going to get basically see so this is the thing and here you can see uh, this and this so if you flip it it will you will get this and this one is actually this one so this is actually four 
and this is actually three if you just uh, draw the flat structure you will get three as this and four as this now this product although it looks stable because all the groups are uh, equatorial position and you cannot place all the group equatorial here two will be always axial but still this product will form because this reaction goes through or this attack goes through a chair like transition state whereas this goes through a twist boat like transition state and always chair like transition state is more stable so that's why you will get this product and option three will be the correct answer so whenever you get this type of question you have to always work out otherwise you will be confused so steric hindrance of this methyl group really doesn't play a big role here the only role it plays here the approach of this br2 but the actual product which product will form that is actually determined by whether it will go through this chair like transition state or twist board like transition state so i hope that uh, you understood the concept behind this question thank you for watching